524. It's early. Bullshit. It's early. 524. Well, day 22. Bobby's fish camp. To as far as we can get to Mobile. <laughs> um, we have a lock in Coffeeville, three miles from here. That we want to get through right away. Excuse me. And um, I called the lock master already and he's like, well, come on down at seven o'clock. No. I said, we'll be there at 6.30. I couldn't understand what he said after that. So we'll get down there about 6.30 and try to get through the lock. I'll call him again before we leave because it's only 10, 15 minutes. So I'll call him about 6.10 um, just to make sure. So going to get engine room checks done. Brush our teeth. Have I some, did that. Oh, I got to brush my teeth. Yeah. Heather's making me some breakfast so we can use up some food just in case when we pull the boat and put it on the hard, if they don't have electricity that we can plug it into, we gotta empty the fridge and freezer. So I'm trying to use some of that stuff up. Um, had a pretty restful night. One toe came through. We didn't have a restful night. I slept well. Why? Didn't you sleep well? Yeah. No. Um, why didn't I sleep well? I'll turn it around for you, though. Sleep well because it got really rocky at one point. It was 1230. It was really rocky. And you said, go and see if that's a barge that just went through. And I said, okay. So I half asleep, run up the stairs, see that there's a barge going northbound, and I turn around, and I think I missed two steps. And so, I landed on my leg, but my arm also stopped on the, stopped me on the table over there. So now my arm is pretty sore, and I don't know if it's from that, if it's from using the pole against the wall in the lock and dam. And then after that, Bob was all excited that it was 12.30 still, and we had so much more time to sleep. I didn't get much more time to sleep because he kept snoring. I had to wake him up like three times this whole night. I do not snore. Yes. yes I don't snore. I'm filming me really now. I don't snore. I have never heard my... Yes, you I, have, because I have taped it. I've never... I've recorded it. I've you never woken it. up from me snoring. She has recorded me snoring. <laughs> All right. Well, enough of this. Um, yeah, we'll start filming more when we get going here and uh, uh, got stuff to do and get the boat ready. So talk later. Well, good morning, everyone. It's 7-11. We got up, got through the lock and dam uh, about well, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Um, we're pushing south. We're getting a little bit of a kick from the river. We're going about 9.6 miles an hour, which is four tenths better than yesterday. We'll see if that holds true uh, for the day today. Um, we were lucky we tow went through the lock and dam with a Corps of Engineers tow working tow boat. Um, so he allowed us to go with him and saved us uh, probably about an hour. Uh, so that was good. And um, yeah, river again is glass smooth. A little bit of fog, I'll show you that. But uh, we're going to have a completely long day of boating and try to get as far south as we can to one of three anchorages today. So we found three possible anchorages and we'll, we'll boat until we find one we like. So. All right, I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like. It still looks like the river. So, very calm, last smooth this morning. The 
Corps of Engineers boat's coming up on my rear. He's going to pass me since we can only do uh, the speed that we're doing. So I'm going to hug the right side for him to pass me. What do you think so far this morning, babe? It's good. Yay, all oh, no more locks. How many total locks did we do, Joe? 39. 39 locks. Holy cow. And today is day 22. So 39 locks. That is a ton of locks. All right, we'll update you more a little bit later. Well, it's about uh, almost nine o'clock now, about 8.53. River remains just glass smooth. It is pretty down here. Um, you know, big, beautiful trees growing alongside the river. Um, it's kind of flattened out a little bit. The disappointing thing is though, we're only going about 9.3. We didn't get any any current kick uh, for us. So I was hoping to get, you know, maybe a half a mile, do 9.7, 9.8, give us, uh, you know, more distance today. So anyway, um, it all kind of looks good. Heather just got off the phone with our marina. I'm gonna turn it around here real quick. Yep, got off the phone with Dog River Marina. And they're expecting us in tomorrow between 10 and 11. And the ladies in the office already told the mechanics, so they're gonna be waiting for us. So that's all good to know. So we'll get pulled tomorrow. Good news is we can stay on the boat. Yeah, and, and the, it'll be plugged into electricity. The boat will have electricity now. No air conditioning. Right because that needs water to work, but we've got two va fans and yeah, plus all, of our food will be fine. all of our food will be fine. And uh, I'm sure the Marina's got a courtesy car, so they do. we'll, uh, and they have a West Marine. I was just gonna say that the West Marine is a West Marine for Bob. I can go shopping in there for hours. That'll take him out of his depression. You know, shopping is a sport for Heather. <laughs> But it's West not. West Marine is well, it's like Shangri La for me. So uh, we'll I'm sure we'll spend some time there. We'll probably be, uh, you know, pray to God it's just props. You know, we'll be in Mobile for if it's just props, probably three, four, five days. If it's something more, you know, we'll let you guys know. But anything longer than a week, we are probably gonna not not stay and we'll go back to Florida and, and then have to maybe consider waiting out hurricane season. So, all right, well, that's about all the updates for right now. Just keep plugging along. We do have a Corps of Engineer boat that we went through the lock and dam with that's, that's crawling up on my backside here. He, at some point here in the near future, he's gonna pass me. And that says a lot when a Corps of Engineers tugboat passes you. So that means we're not going fast at all. I wish he could just. Wish put he a could. Rope on right, I know. Tow us. He's going to Mobile tonight, and uh, they've got 50 million watt white laser beam lights that shine off the sides of their boat. He passed us last night when we were at uh, Bobby's Fish Camp, and it shine. It lights up either side of the river, so <clears throat> it looks kind of like. Uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, just these massive spotlights, and he just shines them on either side of the river so we can go down the middle, doesn't have to worry about it. So anyway, it would be great if we could uh, maybe follow in his wake, maybe get a little push from just him going through the water, but I don't know, we'll see. All right, talk to y'all later. So it's about 10.15. The engineer tow passed us. This is the 10 Tom. And uh, I am going to try to follow him as far as I physically can because although the river won't give us a kick, following him is taking us anywhere from nine, the same as what we were doing, nine four, all the way up to 10 miles an hour, depending on if I find the right spot in his wake. So we're pretty far back from him, safe distance and just cruising along in the channel behind him. He knows we're here, we've been talking, so he's fine with it. I gotta turn down my radio. But 
huge sandbars down here on the river. The river is again starting to curve. We're doing a loop back on ourselves. Um, so, and it gets worse down there. There's actually a figure eight. I'll show you that when we get there. Well, but it's technically not a figure eight. Well, not a figure eight, but it looks like a figure eight since. Oh, it yeah, it really does. Well, no, that looks like a figure eight. If you draw two circles on top of each other, that looks like the number eight to me. No? All right. Misaccurate. <laughs> it All right. takes a lot of loops. It takes a lot of loops. But we have gone 34 miles this morning and we are 70 some just over 70 some miles from the Gulf. So we're getting low. All right, talk to you later. So it's about 11.15. We're still making okay time. Following the Corps of Engineers barge Tentom, where we have <laughs> been following him for about an hour. Yeah. back at the bridge. Anyway, we've been with him all day, but he passed us eventually. Our slow asses can't keep up, but we were, a nice ride. we are having a nice, pretty nice ride. I lost, there's a sweet spot in the river following his wake where I can average about 9.7 miles an hour. But if you lose it, you pay the price. You go down to 8.9. So it's this sporty driving of it's keeping me on my toes of trying to find the sweet spot back I'm I'm a quarter mile behind him now but there, he put he's moving so much water with that barge that there's still a lot of turbulence and you can get the sweet spot but uh, we've got we're at mile marker 76 um, our first of three anchorages are down at mile, starts at mile marker 16. So we've got about 60 miles to go. It's 11:15 right now, 11:20. I'm sorry. And if we can come close to maintaining 9.5 to 9.7, we should be down there by five o'clock. Plenty of time to find an anchorage and and. Uh, get set up for the evening so anything for you Heather? Uh, no, I'm getting hot and I think we need to turn the air out soon. Aren't you hot? Yeah, I'm, I've got a river of sweat running down my ass crack right now. Oh, that's a little TMI. TMI? I'm just talking to a camera. She's so pleased to be married to a guy like me. Are you happy to be married to a guy like me? Yeah. I embarrass her sometimes. <laughs> uh, I crack myself up. All right, uh, we'll talk to you all later, bye. Are you all pissy again? I'm not pissy. Uh, oh, we're at miles. Just a second, I'm giving an update. Just, I am too. Just chill out for a minute. God. It's uh, 1 o'clock. We're at mile marker 60. Our anchorages start at mile marker 16. So we've got 44 miles to go. We have gone 60 miles so far today. Still trying to catch up to that, that uh, Corps of Engineers that's tow, but happening. that's not happening. Played our first game of cribbage today. Yeah, and now the score is two zero Heather, and I got a twenty-four point hand right at the end. 20, twenty-four point hand on the second to the last hand, and I she beat me by how many points? Well, you gotta, eight. No, you got to put take my oh. six points. Oh. You never gave me my six. How many points did you beat me by? One. One. Again. 
Unbelievable. It's okay. All right, we're gonna play another one. Try to win. But uh, trip's going okay. Not getting much of a push from the river down here. We're only 40, 50, 60 miles from the Gulf now. So it's getting closer. The river still looks the same. It hasn't changed. Which is kind of surprising to me, but anyway. All right, more later. Well, it's about 2.20 and we're continuing to move along. We have an interesting scrap metal, I don't know, scrap metal something. That's a huge crane though. Its name is Clyde. I don't know if you can see, you can't see it on the back, but the crane's name is Clyde. Got a magnetic uh, plate dropping metal and garbage, not, well, I don't know, scrap metal into the barge. What the heck is that? Holy cow. I'll have to figure out what that is. Anyway, we're uh, moving right along. Probably got another four hours to go to the anchorage. So, not a whole lot to see. A little bit of an industry going on. Up here it looks like loading docks, barges. All right, more later. Well, the good news is we've started to see seagulls. So, we've gotta be getting close. Actually, we're coming up just around this bend is where the Alabama River connects with the Tom Bigby at mile marker 45. And then just below that, the Tom Bigby, Bigby stops and it becomes the Mobile River. So you also need so you also need to tell them that we never figured out what that building was back there because oh, yeah. in the video you said we need to figure that out. Yeah. We have no idea. We have no idea. But we couldn't find it on any maps. They were doing st uh, stuff with scrap metal, so maybe it was a huge smelting plant, uh, I don't know. Metal recycling uh, got me. It's 2.34, um, yeah, we're doing okay. Our anchorages tonight are at, start at mile marker 16. So, we've got about 29, well, coming up here will be about 20, we have 30 miles from right here till we get to the first anchorage. It's 2.30 now, we're averaging about 9.5 miles an hour, so, three and a half hours, get in there about 6 p.m. for the first one. We said we would stop at the anchorage that if the first one looks great and protected, then that's where we're stopping. Uh, but we'll keep going until we think we find a good anchorage. We've got three possibilities all within five miles. So um, yeah, we'll uh, update you more later. What's the cribbage score? There's two. Bob's one. Yeah. One. So he crept up there in the last game. So. Sneaking up on me. All right. Any shout outs? Um, yeah, shout out to Spence. Congratulations on your test you took. Yeah. Yep. Hey, good job. Shout out to Ashley. I didn't really hear from Ashley today. Shout out to Jason and Chandra, Verity. Bennett and Quinn. Shout out to Tina and, and Philip. And uh, Lulu. And yeah, She's Molly. Not a good girl. Dave. Well, Tad. And, don't forget Tad. What? Tad, yeah. And we've got who else? Who else is following along? Uh, my cousin David, Aunt Cindy, Uncle Dave. Yeah. My mom and dad. Dad and Karen. Yeah. I'm sure other people are following. Well, yeah. like my friend Kristen, um, she texts me 
like every evening about the videos. Still have not found another alligator, Kristen. We're still looking. Um, Dave and Amy? Oh, Dave and Amy. Yep. I miss Dave and Amy. Dave I haven't and Amy. heard from them in a while. So, all right. I'm going to concentrate again. Bye. Well, we are coming close to our anchorage or at least the first option of the anchorage, about five miles out. We're at mile marker 22, uh, six miles out. We gotta go to mile marker 16, 16, 17, somewhere in there. River still is the river, but we're starting to see some, I don't know, shacks with some docks. And on the map, We've got a lot of things called bayous now. So, um, yeah, we're we're getting close. What do you think, Heather? Doesn't look much different to me. Doesn't look. We're going we can be we're going to be affected by tidal swings now. Yeah. But it's only what, like a foot, foot and a half. Foot, foot and a half. All right. I got a tote coming up here. I got to pay attention. All right, talk to y'all later. All right, so we are anchor set at 623. Um, we are at mile marker 12 on the Mobile River. Uh, so we only have 24 miles into Dog River Marina tomorrow. So less than a three hour drive. It's about a 10 mile an hour drive with what we've got. Um, how did today go? Today was good. I was getting a little nervous about this last railroad bridge, bridge yeah. because over the radio, the Coast Guard was saying all these bridges were closing and they were closing for repairs and we're going to be open till tomorrow afternoon. And luckily the 10 Tom tug was a couple miles ahead of us. So we were able to ask him if he knew the bridge that we did go under was in effect. And he said no. So. Yeah, so Thank one, you know, we've been listening to Coast Guard alerts all day, and uh, they, on my Navionics maps, it doesn't, sh I can't find some of the things that they're referencing. I don't know if they're using local names or what, but they referenced the Bayou Railroad Bridge. Couldn't That's find it. But, and I called the Coast Guard to ask what mile marker, and they couldn't tell me. So that was helpful. And uh, I thought I found the Bayou Bridge, and I was worried it was the one across the main river channel. But like Heather said, we were able to talk to the tow captain, and he's like, no, it's not that one. But we had rushed down, not rushed, but we, we, couldn't we, rush. we, we couldn't rush. But we continued to go to get through that bridge just in case. So we've got an okay anchorage. I'll show it real quick. Well, I think it's a nice anchorage. Yeah, it should be good. I think it's better than our last one. We have no rocks. No rocks. It's all mud. So we're anchored in 11 feet of water. So it should be an okay night. I'm still anxious about it. Always will be. Um, but I will uh, get out there. I'll watch it closely until I can't watch it anymore. And then, but we've got landmarks. I've got my Anchor Pro alarm set to 25 feet. So if we drag anything more than 25 feet, um, it's gonna alarm and I'll hear it. Um, yeah, I'll show you the anchorage real quick and then we'll wrap up this video. So this is the Tensaw River. It's kind of a channel that runs off the Mobile Bay about 15 miles up and then circles through a bunch of bayous and then comes back out, not Mobile Bay, Mobile River. And then comes, that's the Mobile River in front of you. And we're just, uh, I don't know, five, 600 feet inland from that. This isn't a navigable waterway, so there might be some fishing boats that come through, but there won't be anything, you know, that we have to worry about. There's no buoys or anything like that. So we're set and uh, we'll watch the anchors and beautiful sunset. We got in a relatively good time and this will wrap up day 22. And we've got only one or two bars of cell service, so I don't know if I'll be able to post this till tomorrow. But uh, okay, everybody, have a great night.